current I starts. After coming to the junction, the current is distributed across two resistors as I1 and I2. As for the conservation of the charge, I is equal to the sum of the two currents, I1 plus I2. As the resistors are connected in parallel, whatever the voltage available at the source is available at each resistor. So V1 and V2 are actually equal to voltage connected to the system itself, V itself. But I would like to know now what's the value of the I1 and what's the value of the I2 and how it depends on resistances. We know as per the Ohm's law, V equal to IR. Here we write total V as V1 as well as V2. So V1 can be written like, V can be written like I, total resistance in parallel, R parallel. V1 can be written like I1 R1, whereas V2 can be written like I2 R2. In the previous video, I have proved that when two resistors are connected in parallel, R parallel is equal to R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. Just refer the previous video for that. I will substitute this value in this equation. Now, what happens in that case? I will call this as equation number 1. From equation number 1, we can write I into R parallel. That is R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 equal to I1 R1. R1 R1 gets cancelled. It implies I1 across the first resistor is I R2 by R1 plus R2. Similarly, if I equate these two, I into R parallel is I2 R2. R parallel is R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 equal to I2 R2. Now R2 can be cancelled on both sides. I2 equal to I R1 by R1 plus R2. That's how we can calculate the resistance bearing current by how much in each piece when they are connected in parallel. In a uh, simple uh, sense, we can say I is equal to, we can say the other way, V equal to IR, I equal to V by R, V is constant in parallel, so, I is inversely proportional to R. That means less the resistance, more current will flow and vice versa. That's how the current is uh, shared in resistors are, when resistors are connected in parallel. Thank you for watching.